Well, you'll never guess who feminists are glamorizing as the women of the year, the role models. Well, it started with hijab Barbie. I'm not making that up. Mattel, this is not some aftermarket modification. Mattel itself has rolled out an official Barbie wearing the hijab. This is actually an image from Mattel. I wonder if they're anatomically correct in terms of their female genital mutilation. That's a horrific joke, I know, but it's not really a joke because, of course, that is uh, part of the same sexual submission of women to radical Islam. At the same time, Mattel is Islamifying girls' toys and normalizing the subjugation of women. Glamour magazine has decided to make Linda Sarsour the hijab wearing leftist anti-Semitic feminist, as you can see her third from the left there, one of their women of the year. Do you really think that anti-Semitic, pro-terrorist, far left hate in the form of Linda Sarsour and her hijab is glamorous, is a role model? Well, if you don't, you're clearly an Islamophobe. Joining us now via Skype is someone who I... I'm sure we'll have a lot to say about this. Our friend Pamela Geller, who is the author of the new book, Fatwa, Hunted in America. Pamela, great to see you again. What do you make of the fact that glamour, which is about women being free and sexy and hair flowing in the wind and sun in your face and doing what you want to do, is now holding up a hijab-wearing racist as a role model and little girls are being taught Hide yourself under a under a face mask or a hijab, at least. That's the way. Well, when Glamour magazine named pro Sharia, pro Terra anti Semite Linda Saussur one of the magazine's Women of the Year, it was indeed a turning point for the left. A point of no return. Glamour, Vogue, Bazaar, these are the longtime standard bearers of fashion and beauty. They have all but submitted, like like the mother. The Muslim mother holding down her young daughter for the ritual cut, the female genital mutilation. The icons of beauty are now telling us, telling women that subjugation, gender apartheid, creed apartheid, honor violence, arranged forced marriage, which, by the way, Saussure's marriage was arranged, Jew hatred, and Sharia, of which Saussure has vocally supported, the Saudi Sharia, is, is now the new, the new radical sheep. And this is you know, exemplar of an era in which good is evil and evil is good. Ugly is now beautiful. Uh, What has Linda Sarsour done for Muslim women living under the boot of Sharia? What has Sarsour done for Muslim girls here in America who don't want to wear the hijab, but live under constant threat from their families? Um, I mean, it's incredible that glamour would honor a woman as ugly on the inside as she is on the outside. Just look at her tweets. Sharia law is reasonable, she says in her tweet. Yeah, I think we've got a couple of those tweets here. I mean, she's so extreme. Here she says, 10 weeks of paid maternity leave in Saudi Arabia. Yes, paid. And you're worried about women driving? Puts us to shame. There's Linda Sarsour literally saying that Saudi Arabia, and here's another one, nothing is creepier than Zionism, challenge racism, normalize justice, check out this video. And, And basically, Oh, here's one more. Talking about Judeo-Christian values, she says genocide and slavery, as if those are Judeo-Christian values. How ironic, of course, the Muslim world still has slavery. I see in the news today, Libya has new slave markets. Of course, they're Muslim slave markets. Back to you, Pam. I just wanted to show some examples. You mentioned her tweets. I wanted to show them. Back to what you were saying. Yeah. No, I mean, there's so many uh, here. You know, we I have them. Um, you'll know you're living under Sharia law if suddenly all your loans and credit cards become interest free. I mean, what, they don't charge to, f- for money. Of course they do. They just do it differently. They don't call it interest. If you're still paying interest, then Sharia law hasn't taken over America. And of course, what she said about Ayan Hersi Ali, a woman who suffered under the boot of the Sharia, who had female genital mutilation, who had a clitoridectomy, she says it about her. What does Ayan Hersi Ali see when she looks in the mirror? I pity this woman. Hmm. And she calls for her vagina to be removed and she should have an ass whooping. This is what Glamour Magazine hmm. is holding up as a role model. Now, Glamour Mag- Magazine should 
have held up Ayan Hersi Ali yeah. or Noni Darwish mm-hmm. or Wafa Sultan. These are great, brave women, mm-hmm. but they're holding up Linda Sarsour. Yeah. And honestly, I don't know if you saw her at the gala, and I am fashion girl. Oh, yes. I am fashion girl, but she was wearing, it was like a failed parachute. I don't know what it was, but it was frightening. It was scary. This is the new icon of beauty. Then I have to tell you, the West is finished, Mm -hmm. or at least it's finished in the hands of the elite. And we need a revolution of the mind. We need a revolution of the elites because this is really scary stuff because this is what our young girls are being taught. Yeah. You know what? Um, I was in Iraq, northern Iraq in Kurdistan uh, in July. And what was interesting to me is that the Kurdish part of Iraq, at least the parts we were, we were only there for a week, how much women loved their hair. There were hair salons on every block and we ducked in for a minute to one of them for uh, just to pick up some TV makeup. And all these women spending so much time on their beautiful, beautiful hair in Kurdistan. It was a freer, one of the freer parts of Arabia. Um, uh, Hair Mag, Glamour, Vogue, Cosmo, all these women's magazines. One of the things they talk about is hair and showing your face and being beautiful. And now imagine saying, no, 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 no. The true way to be beautiful is let's never see your hair again. And that whole part of your look and your, and your image, it's just obliterated. And really, how much longer till the full ninja? And, you know, no makeup because makeup is haram. And the idea of being assertive and a free woman and going on dates itself would be haram. Like the, when you obliterate a woman's hair, how can you call yourself a fashion magazine in America, in, in Kurdistan, let alone in America? It's insane. It is the definition of anti-glamour. That's my view. Well, you know, when Sarsour says, I believe wholeheartedly that we must fight injustice and inequality, it is Orwellian. War is peace and, you know, uh, ignorance is strength and all that. If she really believes in fighting injustice and equality, why doesn't she fight the creed apartheid, the gender apartheid, the Islamic Jew hatred, the misogyny, the honor violence, the sanctioned wife beating, the forced marriage or child marriage? It's all part of Sharia governance and mores. Why hasn't Sarsour stood up for the victims of honor? violence or planted a grove of trees in their memory as my organization did. But I can assure you, we get no accolades. We are demonized, marginalized, smeared, and rendered radioactive in this world that the left has completely taken control of. And look what they're doing with it. You you brought up earlier the new Barbie doll that was modeled after a failed, a failed American Olympian whose only claim to fame is that she wears the hijab. Mm-hmm. I mean, what next? Uh, a click cut Bobby, uh, Bobby child bride. Where is the Hindu Bobby? Where where is the the Baha'i Bobby? Where is the Jewish Bobby? Although Bobby's inventor was Jewish, just a little trivial information there. Um, I mean, it, this is this is this is Sharia under it, under Islam. Muslims are quote unquote the best of people, and this is a form of supremacism. I mean, why a Muslim Barbie? Has anyone even looked at a her uh, vile tweets? Uh, who it was modeled after? It was modeled after Ibtihaj Muhammad, and she has tweeted out angry, armed, and white. This is the typical profile of America's most violent extremist. And don't even ask me to go into her nasty um, anti-Israel, anti-Jewish tweets. This is what Mattel, this is what Mattel is holding up as exalting, as iconic, simply because she wears a garment that is anti-woman. It is misogynistic. The idea of hijab, uh, niqab, and, and burqa is covering up women. Why? Why are they covering their hair? Because it might it might incite men to rape. Really, is this is what is this what Mattel and Glamour mm-hmm. is is it, this is the narrative they're advancing? It's shocking to me. Yeah, well, it's shocking to you and shocking to me, but it's shocking, but no longer surprising. I'm afraid, Pamela Gill. It's great to see you again. Pamela's new book is called Fatwa, Hunted in America. Is that the subtitle? It is hunted in America. It's not just my story of being the target of multiple, um, you know, jihad attacks, 
and you know, I don't know if you're aware of it, but last week, a um, a, the leader of a Muslim group uh, who was plotting to behead me was convicted on all charges. The reason why it should be required reading is I am but a proxy in this terrible long war, Ezra. What happens to me is what happens to every uh, American or Canadian who stands in defense of freedom. It really is essential reading. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it's great to see you. And by the way, our own Tarek Fatah, we see news that a would-be assassin was arrested by police in India for plotting to kill him for speaking out against radical Islam. Tarek Fatah, of course, himself a Muslim of the progressive variety that he dares to challenge the more extremist in interpretation of his faith. He was marked for death. And that wasn't just verbal. It was an actual assassination plot. It's true. Yeah. And we're glad you're safe, Pamela. Great to see you again. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.